In my one minute, I want to honor Donna as an exemplary anthropologist. In particular, I want to focus on her work as an exemplary anthropologist of the institution, its faculty, its staff, its administration, its students, and the culture they share to various degrees. I focus on this part of her anthropological work as it is that part from which I think all of us have benefited, whether we are aware of her published scholarly work or not. Sociocultural anthropologists, the particular brand of anthropologist you find in our department, generally privilege intimate local knowledge. In order to get local knowledge, we tend to deploy the logically impossible method of participant observation. Donna has participated in just about every dimension of the life of Wheaton, its faculty and its students that I can imagine. If I were to enumerate the various ways in which she has done so, I would exhaust my minute and more. But participation is not enough. The people with whom one is participating have to want to share what they know with you and be able to trust you with the knowledge they share. I know that people from every constituency at Wheaton find in her a welcome ear, sympathetic understanding, and trusted confidant. Why? In addition to her outgoing personality, generosity of spirit, and extraordinary good humor, often in the face of considerable challenges, I think it has something to do with another fundamental tenet of anthropology, that is cultural relativism. I have often gone to Donna in a state of near apoplexy about something or other, often regarding an issue on which I know we have similar views, to find her not only sympathetic to me and my views, but sympathetic to the views that we both find troubling, however frustrating or infuriating she may find a particular perspective, she seems to find also the wisdom to contemplate the possibility of holding such a view and understanding why one might adhere to it, however problematic she might regard it as being. All of this has made her not only an exemplary anthropologist, but colleague, teacher, and friend.